Well, we want to develop battery power plane because it's a stepping stone towards making a much bigger airplane. You know, we're thinking in the future to do 70 to 80 passenger regional aircraft with a flight duration of three hours. So that's why we need to start small and with this technology because it requires a lot of new features. It's a big challenge because uh, right now, you know, we started with some kilowatts. Now we are in the hundreds of kilowatts and tomorrow we have to go to the megawatt. This is a huge challenge for us. So in order to do this, we need to learn, you know, step by step. We started with an engine that was called, uh, a little one that was called the Cricri, and now we have this E-Fan, and from E-Fan we'll take to the original one. It's cheaper, the cost of electricity is way cheaper than the cost of petroleum today. Second, imagine this is very silent. There is almost no noise in these aircrafts, except the wind noise. So. You can imagine that you can go back to the center cities, you know, and take off from center cities without disturbing anybody, day or night. So look at the potential, you know, for the companies uh, that, you know, Air France, Lufthansa, Deltas and others, Qantas, to what potential we could get if we had more rotations, you know, not only during the day, but during the night. Car industry has to defy rolling resistance. So basically, the, the, the technologies have to propel, you know, just a car on the ground. We have to lift, and lifting is very different. So it means that you have to increase your power to mass ratio by the order of one to 10 as compared to cars. It's certainly one way of the future. You know, there is this uh, demand uh, in Europe, it's called Flight Path 2050, that requires 90% less NOx emissions, 75% less CO2, and 65% less noise compared to the aircrafts of today. So the step is huge, and we're trying to prepare ourselves for these steps of the years 2050s.